Okay, and we're live. How you doing, everybody? We're back on here for the last hour of the day today, Monday, the 22nd of uh, November uh, 2021, as we are finishing off the day here. The Dow is having a fine day, the 22nd, the fine time of it. The Dow is having a fun, wonderful time, up 289 points right now. Been up over 300 today. I've uh, been holding really a 250 gain or better pretty well all day. Um, the S&P is up 27 points, <clears throat> but the NASDAQ has gone negative, interestingly, <clears throat> down 28 points. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out, you know, who's the culprit here? Um, I'm looking at like... Uh, well, I'm not, not really seeing it. I mean, I'm seeing Amazon down $63. Maybe that's have has a lot to do with it. Google down 29 So those two stocks probably are having a big chunk of the, uh, putting a lot of chunk of the negative on it. Perhaps. Uh, Apple's still up 3 Microsoft up $0.06, cents, but Apple's up 3 bucks, 3 20 So that's holding it up. But uh, yeah, that's what we're seeing. Uh, the Dow, like I say, is, is ahead of the game by a good 250, 300 points almost all day long. Uh, oil right now up 83 cents. It's been just slightly positive all day. 76.77. I've saw it this morning at 75. So uh, oil is not under pressure. There's just a lot of um, uh, speculation right now that oil might be uh, under more pressure here uh, in the next little while uh, because of lack of demand that what had been anticipated for China and uh, the Japan economy, the Euro economy in particular, uh, the uh, the um, the mandates, the the uh, how do I say this? The Australian, the Austrians government mandate that all nationals of Austria must get the vaccine. Um, there's you know, obviously a number of upset people about it, and you know all that. There might be some strike action. There might be some demonstrations. There might be whatever, but. The country is going into a lockdown, and Germany is seriously thinking the same thing. The catch in Germany, though, is that in the next two weeks, government control is handed over from An Angela Merkel to the the other guy. <laughs> I have no idea the name. And um, th th this is a change of government, and this this is that means all ministers change, all department heads change. I mean, this is a big deal. You want to do a national lockdown? in the middle of a government turnover and this is you know this is a big deal so i think merkel is just trying to play out the string here and then let the new guy make the call what do you want to do you know you're, you're going to have the control of this country uh, figure it out so if germany does go into a lockdown um because the first thought was well all non-vaccinated people will be restricted from doing virtually anything now the thinking is all people will be restricted from doing Free, free travel and so on and so forth. Uh, this will this will cause a dramatic uh, pullback in the amount of uh, oil needed in in uh, Europe, and that that just uh, bottom line is, is that there's oil everywhere, and there's lots of oil going to where it's supposed to go, and uh, all of a sudden when these tankers get to where they're going, uh, these these refineries are going to be just overflowing in oil. They're going to have they can't refine. There's no need to refine as much as before because the demand isn't there. Now, we'll watch for the, the thing, whether this expands into France and Italy and other countries in Europe. Um, that could make a, a profound impact on the uh, the oil consumption, which means for oil prices in Europe and then subsequently to the U.S., we could have a we could have a, a real drop down in, in prices into the low 60s would not be surprising in the middle of the winter. It wouldn't make will make no difference. Um, no matter how cold the the, the winter gets, it, there's plenty of oil to go around. Um, I'm hearing stories. You're hearing stories where, where, where we we see these articles and these uh, article these these news pieces all about. Um, all of a sudden, we're hearing about electricity shortages all over the place. What the hell is that all about? Um, I understand where uh, if, for instance, this winter. If uh, in parts of Texas, if they get rain and it turns to freezing rain and then power lines freeze up, uh, this can create massive problems because as rain keeps falling and instantly turns into ice when it touches other water or ice. <clears throat> and in Canada, we have this problem too. We get our power lines that get coated in water and then water keeps falling on the line and it just it just the ice gets thicker and thicker and heavier and heavier eventually the power lines fail because you're talking about the distance from one pole to another pole 
this long wire in between that is now just laden with this frozen water that keeps adding on. We're talking pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of weight, hundreds of pounds and more. I mean, it's just, it's non-relenting. It'll never stop until it breaks the connection. And um, the, the story uh, from experts for Texas is that Texas is so dysfunctional on, 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 on its grid, the management of its grid, because they are completely deregulated. There is no central authority to, to run it all. Um, they are saying that if one section of Texas breaks down, it could lead to a bit of a domino effect. Like last year, when for days and days and days, there was power outages everywhere and people were literally burning wood in garbage cans in their driveways and stood around the garbage cans to warm up outside their houses. I mean, it just, it just it's insane. Anyway, um, there's there was talk of that. And so that's the normal talk. <laughs> it's sad to say, yeah, that's normal. That's normal power outage stock. Normal, normal power outage talk. Complete mismanagement of your system. Uh, okay, great. Um, but the <laughs> the talk that is dominating the news wires these days is this idea of um, a, sh a shortage of electricity in Europe and uh, extremely high prices for electricity in Europe. This is really catching the uh, the politicians off guard, businesses off guard, homeowners up off guard and of course the the hard up the, the lower income there's apparently a, a move afoot <clears throat> in germany france the uk and other countries to quickly put through legislation to offer um uh, compensation to 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 homeowners in other words to subsidize electricity prices for homeowners to a certain level above it's paid for by government below it, you you pay so you pay up to a certain amount and after that the government covers the rest um to keep the power flowing to keep houses from freezing to keep pipes from bursting so that you don't have multi billions of dollars of damage above and beyond the fact that you know you've got people without power so that is going on and i'm surprised to surprised to hear about this that i'm uh, just going to i've never heard of electricity shortages before what the heck is that all about weird weird stuff shortages cause higher price spikes price spikes create problems for people who can't pay who then get cut off and on and on, on, on it's a mess well, we'll see what happens another day in paradise what can i tell you uh but the markets uh, the dow doesn't seem to care it doesn't doesn't care we're up 313 points the dow is really happy today <clears throat> because the president of the united states renominated the existing fed chairman mr powell for another term and i think that's four or five years i'm not exactly sure how long these terms last um and so he's he's going to be uh the head of the fed for the next term the markets like it the the banks are really happy uh international bankers are happy it's consistency that's what it is it, it's just everything is the same and nothing radical is going to change here we don't have any speculation to wonder about we know this guy he's calm he's boring but he's calm and he's consistent and so far, uh, the banking system is working all right under his watch. And so the market likes it. The Dow is up <clears throat> 315 points. Goldman Sachs is up nicely today. Um, right now, Goldman Sachs is up $14.60 to $401.99, 202 bucks. This stock got shellacked last week and the week before. I mean, the last month for Goldman has been terrible. The shares were as high as 426 at their high. And they uh, got down last week into that 390 uh, range or even maybe even lower. But uh, yeah, 390 something, 384 at one point last week. <clears throat> so back to 401 for Goldman Sachs. Even with this move up from 384 to here, it's trading at 6.6 .6 times earnings. Uh, yeah, it is a bargain, unbelievably cheap. JP Morgan, they're up 484 uh, to 165. They're trading at 10.4 times earnings. So. Yeah, the big banks are not trading at much of a premium. Uh, they're quite cheap. And as I said a million times, Goldman Sachs is a $700 stock uh, pretending to be a $400 stock. It's a $700 company. But <clears throat> the market hasn't gone to $700 today. Got up $14, but not to $700. Um, on some other stocks that we're following, Rocket Lab has recovered. Um, we were this morning um, on Rocket Lab. We were down around this... Uh, Oh, 1550 range. We got up to 1636 and then backed off down to 1527, just around noon hour Eastern time. 
Rocket Lab has recovered. It's from 1527 at the low, 1608 right now, 1608 up 58 cents on 3.7 million. So Rocket Lab's have a nice little bounce back. So it's kind of like here, here, and here. So good. SoFi is still down $1.31 at 1906. It also, just around noon hour, hit its low of the day of 1832. So we've had a 68, 74 cent recovery to still be down 131 at 1906 on 35 million shares of SoFi. So once it got under 19, the buying came in and it has been sustained buying since to just accumulate and accumulate. So now we're at 1907. We'll see how much more of the stock wants to recover from this 131 low right now. Still down 131. GameStop, a uh, very interesting day today. Friday, we went from 210 to 229.30. Uh, this morning, we opened at 2.30. Then we uh, quickly went down to, uh, well, we, we didn't go down. We were, 2.29 was a low. Uh, we went up to this uh, 200 and uh, oh, 40 range. Uh, we backed off again into the into the 2.31 range just around, just before 10 o'clock. Then 10.30 or so, we got up to 2.44. And then just around noon, 2.33 was the low of the afternoon since the opening. And then we... We've got up, and now we're going up again. We're 246.52 right now. High of the day right now. Volume, 3.45 million. Not heavy. It's better. It's more than average. Yeah, uh, the average volume lately, 1.5 million shares, 1, 1.5, one maybe 2 million. Right now, 3.45 million. And at this exact moment in time, in the last five minutes, Shut, the stock has shot up a couple of bucks from like 243 to 246.52 with no specific um, news, no nothing. We just have our afternoon rally going on. Like I say, the Dow's up 311, the S&P's up 31, but the NASDAQ is negative, but now only down five points. NASDAQ turning on higher as well. Matterport uh, down $1.14 to 26.72. The low just before noon hour today of 25.72. That was a dollar ago. We're now 26.70.72. So we're a buck higher than the low of the day. Still down $1.16 on the day. 6.3 million traded on Matterport. This morning it was as high as the 29s. ME, 23 and me. Uh, started off this morning at 10 bucks, went down around the noon hour to 904, is now at 917 on 2.8 million, down 80 cents on the day. Nothing to speak of today, it's just a down day again. Spire um, opened at 509, 515 high of the day, first thing this morning. Around noon today, hit uh, 473, it's now 497. Uh, it's down 13 cents on the day, but it's recovered um, 24 cents from the low. So it's actually recovered more than half of its losses. And uh, 989,000 volume, we can't get excited about that, but um, it is coming on right now. It, it, it has been improving a little bit here in the last two hours. ATIP, uh, 344 and a half cents right now. Uh, this is about the low of the day. It did not set the low at noon. It was around 346, 47, but um, we hit the low about an hour ago, um, 343, and we're at 345 right now, down 24 cents on 1.3 million shares on ATIP. Both of those, Spire and ATIP, bargoons. Smart Rent down 17 cents. This stock uh, defies all attempts to try to make heads or tails of it. Um, it uh, it will have a good run, a bad run, a great run, a not so great run. Um, a couple of weeks ago, just uh, just on uh, November the second, that would be twenty days ago, fourteen oh two was the price on this stock. I figured it was heading to twenty. It was fourteen oh two? Right now, nine ninety down nineteen cents today on four hundred twenty one thousand shares. The low of the day nine seventy three. Uh, that was set uh, just around noon today. <laughs> You know, they were down to 973. They got back to like 1009, and the stock was actually uh, even on the day. It was almost ready to go up to be a positive, and then it, it slumped. It slumped back. Now it's down 17 cents to 992. So Smart Rent uh, had a little run going, but it ran out of gas and has backed off again. Sixterra down a quarter at 963. Uh, this stock, uh, the high today was the open, 998. And around noon, it looked like it had re reached its low of the day. The thinking was, 
Oh yeah, like all these other stocks, it's at nine. This one was nine sixty three. That's the low of the day. That's where it is right now. Uh, it, it it had a bounce back into the nine seventies, and now it's back to nine sixty three again. Eighty seven thousand shares traded. Absolutely no volume whatsoever. There's just no following on the stock at the moment. It's completely dead. I'm waiting for the management to, you know, do something novel like talk, uh, bring out a press release, um, anything. But uh, it's really quiet. I, I don't quite understand why they went public if you're not going to talk. My thinking is that they're expanding. They're going to expand. They're going to acquire other serv a far a server farms. They're going to build server farms. They're going to, you know, they're going to lease land, get a building made, lease out to everything, and then build their, and build their clientele and, you know, grow the company. But they're not talking about it. And so without the, without sharing the imagination of your upside and, and your hopes, dreams, and aspirations, I don't know what to make, make of it. You got to think that if you're management, you know, if you're employees of this company and you're being given, you're being given stock options, you got to be wondering, why are you giving me a stock option? You, you guys don't even talk about the company on the open market. I mean, how am I going to ever get any money out of uh, being an employee here if my stock options are worthless? I mean, are you giving me options that are exercisable at ten or eleven or twelve dollars a share? Of stocks at nine sixty three, and you're not talking it up. So I don't know what to make of it. I'm I'm I love the business. I like the idea of the business. I like their style. I like I like you know how they're growing it up. But guys, uh, it would really help. It would really help me if I knew what I was to say to my viewers and the world at large about your future plans if you could kind of share them i'd, I'd appreciate it anyway uh, that's my little rant on that 1596 now on rocket lab coming back to 16 dollars um so far 1907 we broke through 19 and now gamestop 245 56 or so up 1676 the high now for gamestop 247.22 uh volume now on GameStop, 3.55 million shares. 3.55 million is the uh, is the volume on GameStop with no no apparent news. That's what I've got. That's what I'm following. That's what we're seeing. That's what we're wondering about. Uh, I don't know. Some days uh, just to have no answers. Uh, sometimes there are no words. I'm doing what I can, following what I can follow, and see what's going on and hey you know there it is that's the story kids as we are uh, following this market right now anyway thank you all of you who are uh, here today uh, joining me this afternoon for the afternoon show the last hour of the day coming into the last 43 minutes uh we'll follow it together and see what uh, what comes of it uh, there's always there can always be shenanigans in the last hour <laughs> You never know. You never know with this market. Um, those of you who are um, uh, who have indicated to Jennifer and I that you would like to join us for our um, meet and greet, um, we're looking forward to this a lot. Uh, this is going to be December the 11th um, in Ontario, California. Uh, we did an announcement this morning, and we've made a change to the meet and greet, a slight change. And... Um, I'm going to mention this every day now because those of you who have already reserved your slot, this is not going to affect you a lot, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that we've made a couple of changes. The first change we've done is the location of the meet and greet. We had been in discussions and we had uh, we had uh, made a, a tentative deal to work out the, uh, the to make the thing happen, make the meet and greet happen at the Regal Theaters, the Regal Edwards Cinema Theater in um in uh, in uh, Ontario at the Ontario Mills Mall, just just uh, north of the property, uh, we've now changed venues. Uh, we found that uh, that uh, now that we know what the what the interest level is, uh, we're very happy with the interest level. We're we're down to the last fifteen spots now, really. Um, we're going to move it to a more intimate location because uh, Jen and I were talking about how if we put you into a theater setting, you're going to be kind of up there in seats and we're going to be down here on the stage and then to talk to you on a more personal level is going to be really difficult because we're going to have to come upstairs and walk in between seats and this isn't going to work and the theaters aren't known as well lit places they, they, the, the spotlight is on the silver screen and um and we thought you know this this isn't quite going to work out plus 
because we got goodie bags and stuff for you and we didn't want to anyway so we we decided we'd make we'd made a move i made i made a few calls and i reached the folks at the outback steakhouse right across the street from ontario mills mall but on the south side of the the ring road there's a ring road all around the uh, the mall scott combin thank you buddy thank you for that donation on paypal you're you're just such a great backer of ours so what we're what we've done is we've moved the event to the outback steakhouse and they've said to us we have a patio for you we got a patio it's a private patio you you can have that and it's sheltered in in case of bad weather we have heaters out there in case it's cold uh, we'll take care of you we got our servers out there we'll serve you your your beverages we'll bring you your snacks and take away the garbage oh, that'll be great and i thought oh man this is, this is fantastic so um we're going to do it at the outback steakhouse instead of the theater itself and uh instead of starting at 10 in the morning uh, because the theater wanted us to start really early to get out of there before the movie started we're going to start at 11 30 instead this gives more people more time to drive in on the morning because you know how traffic is in southern la the 11 30 start time until about two o'clock in the afternoon so uh, lots more lots more casual this way if you'd like to have a bite to eat um uh, towards the end of our thing you can order lunch off the menu and the waiters will set up a thing for you and you're all set up to go um we're going to set it up so that instead of you buying a six dollar drink at the soda fountain at the theater or a twelve dollar hot dog or a ten dollar bag of popcorn we're going to provide you with beverages <laughs> we're going to provide you with coffee tea soda water whatever alcoholic you buy your own but eh, non-alcoholic we cover you and we're going to also offer uh, finger foods uh, we're going to have those blooming onions and we're going to have the uh, you know, all the other fixings that they make, the appetizers. We're going to bring out plates of that stuff so we can nibble and talk and mingle. And I think it's going to be fantastic. And then those, the, towards the end of the show, the end of the meet and greet, we'll bring out the goodie bags and give everybody their goodie bags. And then uh, after that, if you're hungry, have a seat at one of our tables there on the patio. And order up lunch and away we go. So this is going to be, I think, a lot more intimate uh, it'll be a lot more casual. It's going to be a lot more effective, I think, for all of us. And I think this is going to work out great. Jen, Jen is really looking forward to this. She wasn't. Uh, she wasn't like thrilled with the. She didn't hate the idea of the theater, but she wasn't like, "Oh, this is the greatest thing ever," because you know it's okay, but it's not mm, the same. But this will be pretty darn good. Uh, easy to park there. Bathrooms, of course. Uh, and restaurant prices instead of movie theater prices for food and drink and it's going to be covered so we're kind of looking forward to uh, to doing this with you and i wanted to mention that i'm going to mention this every day this week um by the end of the week though we will cut off ticket sales to the event we we, we want to lock it down and we're going to just let the folks at uh, uh outback know here's the final count this is our final count and uh now we don't have to worry about uh changing venues anymore or anything else and we're, we're good to go and that'll be it'll be a good time so if you want to come out make sure to send a donation to the paypal uh link which is, should be down below here um it's a 49.99 uh, uh fee to, to attend um and that gets you your goodie bag and hors d'oeuvres and snacks and some beverages and you can hang out and uh there you go. We're good to go. So I, I'm looking forward to that. that that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, and hopefully you folks can come by and see us. And yeah, it'll be great. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, we've now shifted the chat to members only. Thanks again to all of you who have been talking here to each other uh, already. Uh, those of you who are not members, please consider becoming a member and join the gang here. I would love to have you uh, join in. Um, and again, thank you for uh, for being part of this channel if you're a member of this channel you are part of the backbone that keeps this channel going adam newberry thank you sir that name looks familiar to me uh something tells me that adam might be a returning member or a recurring member i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, adam no matter what uh, if you're new or you've returned i love it and uh, thank you so much for uh, for popping in and uh, and doing that today let the world know you are here, man. You are part of the backbone of this channel, and I love it. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, Uncle Bruce, is there a fund to chip in for the folks? I'd like to contribute 100 for the beers in Virginia. Um, just send a donation on the PayPal link that I have uh, down below. And, uh, you know, just just send me, a, if you can send me a message or send me an email, just say, hey, this is for the gang at the Outback. 
that would be great. Uh, that would be fabulous. So thank you. Um, uh, fantastic. If we didn't have a baby do, we'd fly in from Atlanta. I actually talked to a viewer the other day who was going to fly in from overseas. Uh, he was going to fly in from Europe. Um, and, uh, uh, there, there are other extenuating circumstances that it couldn't be done. But I just want all of you to know that Jen and I would like to do meet and greets uh, in other venues as well. And we, we really are looking to do one in Texas. We'd love to do one in Florida because we know how many viewers we have in Texas and Florida. We have a ton of you over there. And uh, we'll try to give you as much notice as we can and so that we can you know, put something together. Uh, the new york area you know i'm coming up there uh for sure i'm coming up there uh in europe um we would like to do meet and greets in europe as well and uh, we will attempt to put something together in some of the cities there but that is down the road a ways and when we know it you'll know it but right now it's in our thoughts and in our plans and yes we do want to do meet and greets globally so that we can see you hopefully close enough to make it work but this is our first one we're going to make all the mistakes on this one <laughs> and we're going to get them all out and it's going to be great and i know that the folks that are coming are not expecting anything great they're just going to come by to visit with us and uh, we're going to i think we're going to have a good time with it i think it's going to be a lot of fun so that'll be pretty cool okay guys thank you uh, fenville thank you for that uh that that's awful kind of you the truth comes out uncle bruce changed the venue to make auntie jen happy take note all that's how you make a marriage last uh yeah well there's two of us and one of us is the boss and that's not me so there you go uh how about that uh there it is uh fenville it's received it has arrived and uh we'll add that to the tab <laughs> that tab will be added that's awful kind of you. That's a really cool um, donation to the tab for the gang that we're getting together with. Beautiful. Uh, are you are you giving Matterport chairs the goodie bags? Uh, <laughs> the beer fund is already underway. How about that? Um, you have a members in Alabama too. You see, there you have it. Uh, ooh, I'd love to go to Florida, New York. Uh, there's a good number of us in Mid Atlantic. There you have it. Uh, I know the Carolinas. Oh, man. And I've got viewers in uh, Jersey. I've got viewers in Pennsylvania. I have viewers. Uh, we have viewers in the Chicago area, uh, the, the Michigan area, um, St. Louis, um, Seattle. I mean, we, we get there everywhere. I mean, truly global. Toronto, Ontario. Um, yeah, we have viewers around the world. We really do. We have them. We have them in Europe. We have them in Asia, Australia. Man, I, I can't wait. All right. Uh, laugh aloud. The first ones of the guinea pigs, the test trials. Well, someone's got to be first. Might as well be Ontario, California. How about Washington, D.C.? All the lobbyists and government contractors would love to see you, too. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, Chicago meet and greet. Just when, baby? When, baby? Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> are you finally going to buy a new computer chair? Well, the problem is that I'm on the road. I mean, this is not my house. We're renting this place till the end of December, and then we're we're on our way again. So I can't buy a computer chair. We're in we're living out of suitcases. I mean, this is a turnkey unit, of course, and that's what we're going to try to get through every time. But <coughs> we got to settle down and um, and uh, find our new place. That could be a year or two before we figure that out. Then I'll get myself a chair. Yeah, that's right. I'll probably make the New York meet and greet. That would be cool. Ohio, uh, GameStop, what, 246. Uh, Weston, Florida here. I uh, will keep my eyes open for you, Bruce. There you go. Uh, yeah, we're, we're excited. I mean, we would like to get to Florida, Jennifer and I, uh, in the new year because we'd like to take some cruises. And um, we'll definitely fit in uh, meet and greets in between cruises. I mean, that's, you know, for the land, for those who join us on land, and then there'll be some of us joining us at sea. So, yeah. Lots of things happening here. Moved away from BC to settle in Newfoundland. Uh, Spare Uncle Bruce, let's say we're all wealthy in two years or three. Will this tour of the United States repeat so I can join there once too? Uh, that's most likely, yes. Uh, down the road, I can see us doing another meet and greet in the Los Angeles area down the road again. Yeah, sure can. Uh, false uh, Uncle Bruce, so we'll be booking more venues than SawCon. <laughs> Oops, I cleaned up the kitchen and apparently poured out coffee that was made in order to bake something. That that wasn't popular. Oh, you're in big trouble there. 
Uh, Bruce Cruz, after all, Splair, I guess we can host the local one and fly Uncle Bruce and Jen over. There you go. So, you know, we'll see what uh, what comes up. I'd love to do a meet and greet in Ireland. I'd love to do a meet and greet in the UK, Germany. Oh, yeah, Germany. Um, Italy, that would be that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, that it would be so wild to uh, to be in a, you know, in a foreign country doing a meet and greet and have people show up. <laughs> Just I can't believe it makes you uh makes you understand how small the world is and uh how the channel's reach is what it is fantastic we've got a half an hour to go and then we're done for the day today we're still up 263 on the dow here we're up 23 and a half on s p and we're down 47 on nasdaq we're still up 64 cents on oil it's uh, 7658 rocket lab was over 16 but now it's under 16 1587 uh, sofi under 19 at 1898 GameStop 245.51. High of the day 247.22 uh, today. Matterport 26.21 down a buck 65. ME down 89 to 908. Spire 490 down 20. ATIP 346 down 23 cents. Smart Rent 986 down 23. And Sextera down 28 to 960. They're all off today. Uh, we're down on everything except uh, Rocket Lab and GameStop. Everything else is in the red. No getting away from it. And it's just the way it is. And so on on, on red days, you buy back calls if you've written any that are you know coming your way. And or you pick up some bargoons. And on green days, you write contracts and uh, take profits. So we're going to see what's happening. Hey, Uncle Bruce, when are you going to get a tour bus? Uh, Larry, I'm in for German or Netherlands one, too. Splare, noise. Then I will see this beautiful places and see interesting people right on. Bitcoin, I can't believe I've sold a Matterport $30 cover call today. I can't believe I did that. Lobo, I was calling it right now. The Las Vegas meet and greet will be the biggest event. Live music, my DJ, uh, Lobo Blast. How about that? Uh, Pitcom, well done. Uh, let's go. Uncle Bruce, Tesla is up 43 bucks, 4% today. Yeah, Tesla does do that. Uh, they can move. Uh, I remember when they had that big run up, you know, about a year and a bit ago, and they, for the very first time, they ran it into the thousands, and it was just before their split. I mean, that, that thing was going up hundreds of dollars a day. It was just insanity. Who cares? Cutting out early today, Uncle Bruce. Have a good day, all. You take care, buddy. Thank you for being here. GameStop, 244. 36 up 1556 um it's it's up yes uh volume nope 3.7 million you know it's better than normal but not earth shattering incredible and um uh we would love to hear some news um if the company has something to say that'd be great i don't know maybe something maybe something's brewing i don't know larry i hope you take a bell with you i buy the beer uh liz says bye um marcus i have to tell you guys how i um how I screwed up today, uh, my uh, bank loan uh, defaulted today, so I had to sell 30 grand worth of GameStop right before the market opened. I'm biting my own ass right now. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, no. Larry, uh, ciao. Who cares? Rob, Lobo last DJ, Yoko only, please. Fenville, Marcus, sorry to hear that. Hope that made some profit, at least, that you made some profit if you sold this stuff. Uh, Socius, he'll probably bring Yoko albums. Uh, Splare, uh, have a good week, you early leavers. DQ, uh, Marcus, sorry to hear about that. Oh, that's got to be so frustrating to have to do that. 30,000 uh, worth of GameStop. Yeah, it's, you know, 15, what is that, 1,500 shares? 150 shares, I guess. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's uh, too bad. Um, you know, you want to be able to write options on it and bring the money in instead. But what can you do? Uh, 245.46. The beauty about GameStop, I guess, is that if you... You know, you have a couple hundred shares and you've got a bill that you got to pay off uh, a couple thousand bucks or something. You can get a couple grand real quick out of GameStop just writing covered calls. Uh, you know, you can you can write an out of the money call good for a month, a month and a half. Bring in thousands of dollars on a couple hundred shares, pay off some bills and take the heat off and hold the stock. Go from there. Lots of red markers on Matterport versus green. Maybe another profit day uh, taking day tomorrow. Beach Boy, hi, Uncle Bruce. Haven't rolled yet. Any thoughts about the GameStop February 200s or, or wait? Seems like volumes build up. Um, yeah, Beach Boy, I would not be uh, too too hurt, too much of a hurry right now. I would not be too much in a hurry right now. Uh, we know we're at 244 on the stock here. We're up, you know, 1592. But we don't have the volume to really uh, back it up. I'm kind of thinking that even if they want to go higher, you know, if these shares want to go to the 250, 260 mark, 
uh, you're going to do a rollover anyway. I mean, that's your, you know, your big plan is likely to do a rollover from the 200s you have into something higher. Well, let's let the stock show us what they've got in mind. Uh, what What's the stock going to do? It's Okay, it's up 16 right now. All right. Are you going to gain tomorrow another five, six, eight bucks? You're going to go to two fifty three, two fifty five. Is is Wednesday going to be a two sixty day, a two sixty five day? I mean, what's what do you got? Doc, show me. Um, because wherever the stock wants to go, when you do a rollover, you're going to lock in a, a much higher premium uh, than you know what you have now. You're going to get strike price. You're going to take the two hundreds out, and you're going to replace them with something with a much higher strike price. And you're just going to go, okay, here I am. Um, if you do a flat rollover or you do a rollover where you bring in more cash, great. On the other hand, uh, you can do a rollover today if you choose to, uh, where you score these, uh, you know, buy back these 200s if, if you must, and then look to write higher priced calls uh, for higher money if you can, uh, further out most likely. So uh, that can be looked at as as well. Uh, right now we're at, as they say, we're at two forty five fifteen on the on the stock right now. And uh, you know my my uh, my friend here has February two hundreds that he's uh, that he's holding right now. So you know what do you do kind of thing February two hundreds. What's the what's the strategy? Well, they're 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 sitting at market price is sixty nine to seventy five. is a bit ask sixty nine seventy five. Last trade was around seventy bucks. So, yeah, they're in the money right now, forty five dollars, and they should be trading at seventy because that's a twenty five dollar premium. You know, if, if the um, if you were writing you're writing a uh, an at the money uh, a call, um, you know, it 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 would be uh, um, uh, you know it'll be uh, it'll have a a premium on the on the stock right now with the or on the contract with the two hundred being forty five in the money it's it's uh, uh, trading at seventy so forty five of it is book value the rest is time value now the two fifties for the same month are trading between fifteen fifty five last to fifty two so you know you go forty you go fifty dollars higher from two hundred to two fifty okay the contract is is only twenty dollars cheaper like it's only twenty dollars uh lower price because the 200s are in the 70 range these are in the 52 range um and yet the price is fifty dollars differential it's amazing right uh, but the 250 is all time value and there's no book value there whatsoever it's pure time value now to roll over this contract this the strategy is simple you're going to try to buy back the 200s at the, at the lower end of this bid ask range and we assume you're going to pay about the 70 range, let's say, ballpark about 70 bucks. And then you're looking to write a contract further out for a, a higher strike and uh, and at least 70 bucks. That, that's kind of the plan. So now you go, you go option hunting. And uh, if you're looking at 240s, for example, they're 67 to 77. That's the bid ask. Last at 70. There's there's a the same price contract that's a that's five in the money, not 45 in the money there's one option right there's one possibility that would be uh that month if we go to july 2022 um we're now looking at contracts in this uh, neighborhood around 270 260 and easily 250. Uh, 250s will probably bring in closer to 75 260s um will probably bring in around 72 73 and 270s could bring in around 70. so there's your there's one indication right there you have to go several months further out but you go way up on strike and and it's about the same amount of money if you go to january 23 now that's the next one available for that move you do not take on a 250 contract or a 260 contract now when you're forced to go that far out which is a year and a month you're now moving up your strike price dramatically. You're really pulling the string. And now you're going to look at probably writing 350s. Uh, 350s will bring in about 80, could bring in as much as $80, depending on the bid ask here. Um, uh, 300s are, are definitely uh, uh, you know, over 80. Um, even 400s would bring in almost $70. I mean, even if you're flat, uh, you're, you're writing... You're writing as high a strike as you can for a, a high a premium as you can because you're going out a year plus. Now, 
a a three uh, you know a three fifty contract with the stock sitting at two forty five. That's one hundred five dollars out of the money, and you're demanding an eighty dollar bill to write it. I mean, you're selling out at four thirty if you get taken out, right? If you get exercised, you're paid four hundred thirty bucks. Well, nothing wrong with getting paid four hundred thirty bucks if the stock gets two forty five and you're doing a rollover. I mean, that's that's a huge win. But uh, this is what's what's one what one can consider doing at the moment. We're at two forty five seventy five, and you know you can you can do a rollover. Uh, but on the other hand, you can also wait till tomorrow. This is a short week, and you can wait out this whole week uh, because the odds of you getting exercised are low uh, because this contract is a February contract. It's just, it has so long to go. Your two hundreds have till February before they expire. So the odds of you getting exercised this early are, are you know, next to nil. But here we are, 246 a share, um, not a lot of volume, no news. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, well, if you want to go to 260, 270, well, then you'll buy your 200 back at about 80, 85, because it, it, it now will come right down to book value only. This contract will lose all its time premium and will only trade at book value plus a small bit of money on top of that for time and so these 200s will soon trade if the stock wants to go to 270 they'll trade at maybe 80 bucks 70 book 10 bar, 10 dollars time um you'll look to buy those back and now look to write 80 100 contracts 110 dollar contract uh going forward so we'll see what we'll see what it does uh that's that's the rollover game always staying ahead of it and uh daring the market to come up and get you there it is uh okay there it is um let's see uh what else is going on here um uh, uh what else do we have here uh fenville beach boy you're safe this pump is due to the quarterly rollover it'll come down after earning or uh, earning december 3rd no earning no worry um no one will take your shares um let's go um Let's go. Larry says, this sounds like a good time to me. Uh, and uh, and um, I'm in Germany. I can't write options, fa for, uh, sadly. Um, let's go. Um, Fenville says, Socius, my plan is to exit my GameStop call options on this Wednesday. Not going to hold till Friday. And uh, let's go. Um, Uncle Bruce, any reason why selling SoFi January contracts um, and rolling um, into March contracts is a bad move? I uh, wouldn't mind a bit more time just in case I can sell it at a profit, end up with more contracts total. Uh, okay, so any reason why selling SoFi January contracts, selling January contracts and rolling into March is a bad move. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're long. You're you're not short. You're 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 you hold them. I get it. Uh, it takes me a while to figure this out. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this move. Um, more time. Yeah. And yeah, this is a this is nothing. This is a good move. Fit be fits. Good move. Absolutely good move. Yeah, yeah. Guy, more power to you. More pressing uh, than Beach Boy. I have five two hundred and thirties expiring this Friday. What are your thoughts on letting myself get assigned versus uh, re repaying to roll? It? Well, you don't have to repay. I mean, if you if you buy these back, um, they're in the money. They're going to cost you more to get them. But then you create new contracts. Maybe you'll write two fifties, and uh, you can bring in more money than you're than you're paying. Now, if you can't afford to buy all five back at one shot, let's say you wrote like you did write five, right? And you can't afford to buy all five because you don't have enough powder. But you can afford to buy one of them. You buy one, and then you write the one you the new one take that money buy a second one write the next new one you may have enough cash now between what you had left over in this one to buy two more or if you just do one at a time do five times in a row buy write buy write buy right or buy right buy right buy two write two buy one buy one there you go you've rolled them over uh you can do that J Mac, uh and uh, and uh, build it up that way but you know if you want to, you don't do anything, and the stock stays above two thirty, you will be assigned. Plus, you get to keep the premium you already got, and then uh, you sit on the sidelines and and on Monday morning, uh, take a look at the market. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if the shares back off to the third two thirty range, you just buy your stock back if you you know all five hundred, or if they are sitting in the let's say they're sitting in the uh, two forty range on Monday, 
you have enough money to buy 400 of the 500, you buy 400, you write four contracts for 250s or whatever, bringing in enough money with what you still have left over to get the other 100 and then write that contract. And now you've got back 500 shares, you've written five contracts and you're back in business at 240 or 245 or 250 or whatever. Mathematics. Uh, hello, Bruce and gang. Hello, Joanne. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, did Spire Moon yet? I need to buy some beer. Um, let's see. <laughs> on GameStop, Bruce, sorry. My best wish could be bad earnings to buy more shares on the dip. Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on here? Um, Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, I do hold over a thousand shares. I'm not selling them. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. 350 strike for February will hit definitely. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to understand options writing more every day. Uncle Bruce, thank you. You got it, pick on. Um, and, uh, let's see, um, <laughs> kind of wish someone would exercise my February 22, 220 GameStop cover call this week, laugh out loud, plus that premium you probably got. Um, yeah, I sold, I sold GameStop January 200s, not even looking at it till January the 1st, not even looking. Um, the GameStop right now, 247, new high. Was that a clock chime off the top of the hour? Uh, no, someone at the door. It's okay. I heard that too. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Four million volume to go up eight percent. I can't wait until the four spies. Um, and added nine hundred ATIP at three forty four. Stealing paper. Three forty three right now. Even cheaper. Wow. Way to go. Two forty six eighty on uh, GameStop. Um, w pattern is forming on GameStop in the one minute chart from 312 to now. Let's see if that translates to a run up at the end of the day. And thumbs hit the like thumbs. We're down to 14 minutes to go on our day today. So we'll see how we do the last 14 minutes. We have GameStop right now, 247.27. It's up $18. Volume on the day is a 3.88 million. And uh, keep in mind that we were at, three, at $210 a share. On Friday morning, Thursday night, we're up thirty-seven dollars in two trading days. No news. We were one seventy a month ago. Uh, we've added seventy-seven dollars in value, which is great. Thank you, forty-plus percent gain. Thank you, but no news. Um, we kind of need something to, uh, you know. But hey, it's up. Uh, you guys are richer on GameStop. I'm a happy guy. Um, Rocket Lab is up 41 cents to 15.91. SoFi still down 149 to 18.88. Matterport down 167 to 26.19. 23 and Me down 90. We've got Spire down 23 cents. ATIP down 26. Smart Rent down 27. Six Terra down 31. That's where the market is right here. Uh, the Dow is still up 200. We were up over 300 earlier today, uh, but we're up 200 right now. Microsoft is down. 46 cents. Apple is up 211. It was up over four or five at one point. Tesla's up 30. Uh, we've got the Royal Caribbean down 90 cents to 79.57. Goldman up 11.85. We were up 14 at one point today. And over at Cisco, 54.84. We did break 55 today. I think we hit 55.50 today. Cisco is coming back nicely from its uh, uh, bad move last week. Okay. Bruce, are you going to bring the lamp to Ontario? Um, what lamp? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have uh, headlamps in the car. You know, the, I'll bring the Tesla, but I, I don't know anything about lamp. Um, you know, you should call the meet and greet Bloomin' Onions with Bruce. <laughs> Maybe we should meet our way to the moon during power hour. How about that? Uh, there you go. Y'all going to show up at the meet and greet, and, uh, and uh, it'll be just a lamp sitting on a big table all by itself. Nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> with a blue with a blooming onion and a whole bunch of cups of water around it. <laughs> Nobody there. Oh gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Scott Brewer says I built a portfolio this year that is 80% higher than the last year by selling GameStop cover calls and listening to Uncle Bruce. This really works for me. Can't wait for the East Coast visit. There you go, Scott. I look forward to seeing you too. That'll be great. 
Uh, I wonder what would happen if Ryan Cohen's gag order expired tomorrow. Just in time for Thanksgiving turkey talk with a family like Bitcoin four years ago. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. There are four lamps. Really? The lamp will have a sign that says, what, Bruce? <laughs> Where's Bruce? What, Bruce? There's no Bruce. Uh, there's just a lamp. There's no Bruce. Uh <laughs> <laughs> There'll be so many selfies with the lamp. It has to go. It has to go to the meet and it has to go totally in the meet and greet. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Uh, it's got the 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 invisible lamp has a personality all its own. Unreal. Oh my gosh, this isn't you know none of the stuff's mine. You know. <laughs> Oh, man, 10 minutes to go. Not a good close. Lots of things that were green falling into the close. Dave, uh, on a brutal red day like today, my TFSA is still up 50% thanks to Uncle Bruce's advice on being patient. And that's all you got. to You, you just got to write out these days and just kind of go, okay, sit down, Dave. Fine, fine. They'll come to their senses eventually. There you go. Um, anyway, what can I say? Um, you know, to be sure, to bring up politics at the family Thanksgiving dinner, you'll save money on Christmas presents. Uh, follow me for more holiday tips. There you go. <laughs> Stock markets with the lamp. Yeah, I mentioned that in the morning show. Apple Care Guy, stock markets with lamp, Uncle Lamp, um, except GameStop, of course. In fact, you should take that lamp with you on your travels. Mail it back after you settle somewhere. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um GameStop 24851 up 1971. I think that's near the high of the day here. 24964 is the high. We're gonna hit 250 here. It wants to do it. You know it wants to. I don't know if it can hold it, but it wants to try to get there. Uh let's see. Um hopefully Outback accepts SPIR shares for payment. Um <laughs> Let Yoko hold the lamp. I mean, come on. Uh, that's the ultimate. Let Yoko hold it. Uh, give me, come on, let her hold it. 248.24 on GameStop. Uh, 247.58, volume 4 million and 38,000 today. <laughs> that's the dealio. Uh, 342 on ATIP, the low of the day, 342. 42. The deal of deals. Smart rent, nine, uh, 980. Spire, uh, 486 and a half. Um, low of 473 today. So still 13 cents higher than the low of the day today. Rocket Lab and GameStop are the only two greens that I'm following here uh, for the most part right now. Uh, you know, you know you want to do it. Everybody does it. You, you want to do it. Uh, Anti Stark, do, 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 do. Have we ever seen the the Yoko and the lamp in the same place at the same time? Isn't that a coincidence? You think about that. You never see them two together. Just like in the old days, you never saw Wayne Gretzky and Princess Di together. You never saw them together. And that's something and it made you wonder. We were wondering that in Canada, that royalty like Wayne Gretzky and, and Princess Di were never seen together at the same time. Interesting. Yeah, you need to check how much it is to hire Yoko to an event as entertainment. <laughs> Uh, Bama Babe says, Andy BC, I just tell my liberal friends that I am unvaccinated. No invites for Christmas from them. Laugh out loud. They leave me alone. Cheddar, yeah, Rocket Lab doing decent today. Uh, just overall not good. Um, <laughs> don't put the earworm in my head, uh, Zach says, Andy PC, please. Oh, boy. 248.31 on GameStop up 19.50. What? And that's what we got. Um, travelers in Cisco are higher on, uh, on the Dow, uh, but we're only up 122 on the Dow. We're only up 122 on the Dow. The Nasdaq now down 139. So there's some uh, profit taking coming in. There's some unease there. Uh, the Dow is backing off from that 300 point gain to 120. S&P is only up half a point. Uh, so two of these markets might be negative uh, here in the next seven minutes. Uh, at this pace, uh, S&P might go negative as well. We'll have to watch the GameStop in the middle of all this, see if it can hold a gain or not. Uh, it'll be up, I'm sure, but will it hold this gain? That's what I'm wondering about. I don't know. Uh, go GameStop and let's hope for LRC partnership or even better DTCC. Uh, whatever happened to that easy button? It's in storage. It's in storage in Calgary. Uh, Zach, uh, Joanne Hubs is in storage. Um, and uh, uh, Brandon Boyle, the DTCC are criminals. Nelson, just play the Yoko album, and she shows up automatically everywhere in California. 
and the end has begun or has or has the begun ended uh we don't know damage him we're wondering about that uh, rocket lab 1590 uh up 40 cents uh so far 1878 still under 19 bucks down 159 games up 248 26 with now six minutes left in the day Matterport down 160, ME down 95 cents to 902. That is more than 10%, isn't it? Does that does that not mean uh, that ME will be on the short restricted list tomorrow? Uh, 9.73 right now is the drop at 9. If it drops another nickel, it might be on the short sale restricted list tomorrow morning. Not that it makes much of a difference on, on um, ME, but I'm just mentioning it for the, uh, you know, for the record, just for the record, Spire 484 uh, down 25 cents, ATIP down 26 cents to 342. And that's where we are, guys. Um, 1594 up 44 on Rocket Lab and 247 now on GameStop at the moment. Um, Bruce Kiwi says, please make a video about the realities of having an electric car, including the use of the charging network. I know people here in New Zealand, UK, and US want to find, uh, who find it horrendous often do to uh, often do to what to what hard to sh to find slow or broken chargers. I, I well, I got to tell you, Kiwi. I, I mean, I'm spoiled rotten. I'm in Southern Los Angeles, or let me rephrase it. I'm in Southern California, and the car is a California-made car. And uh, the supercharger started, the network started in California with so with, with Tesla. So two miles from my house are a bank of like 35 superchargers, places known as the River, which is a shopping mall just two miles from here. There's, there's superchargers there. I can drive over there anytime I want, and, and in 20 minutes, I'm charged up. But I got the car plugged in the, to the wall. I mean, it's plugged into the wall of this garage at 110 voltage. Um, and, and I get 100 miles a day of mileage from the wall. <laughs> so I don't drive anywhere around here. I mean, we go to the grocery store, we go to Te we go to, we go to In-N-Out Burger, we go to Costco, we go to Walmart, we go to Target. We, we, we just jump around from spot to spot, pick up some stuff. If I put on 10, 15, 30 miles in a day, that, that that's it. Uh, I plug the car in and five, six hours later, we're charged up again. And we're always at, you know, the maximum, roughly 80% charge, 90% charge. Uh, so for me, it's not a problem. Um, when we were in Phoenix, it was a problem because we didn't have a charger at the hotel and we weren't charging into 110, although I should have. Uh, but we ended up um, going to superchargers in Phoenix and, and it was 20, 25 minutes and we would be supercharged. You're paying for the electricity. It's just on a credit card. It's uh, it's like cashless. It's amazing. But, uh, you know, should do a video, I guess. Uh, let's see. SoFi is getting slammed in last minutes. Uh, bug rel cell volumes. So, uh, SoFi, uh, it's 1874, down 163. Uh, let's see. I sure like how in, uh, GameStop's inching up. 246, though, uh, backing off a little at the end here. Uh, SoFi also hit the 10% point to sometime today. Bruce, that might also be it. Bought more SoFi shares. I'm going to go broke, but at least I'll own the SoFi float. There you go. Maybe no shorting allowed tomorrow on SoFi either. S&P going negative. Uh, yep, it's down 11 now. And the Dow's only up 42. It's quickly falling. T Tesla announced they'd let other vendors use their supercharger. That's what we're hearing. Orion, I'm kind of disappointed. I didn't sell all my calls for SoFi. Jan, 75th, I had to roll them into April 2022. Um, and let's see. Uh, there are some other superchargers. They're everywhere. You're right. They're everywhere. Do you miss Tim Hortons? Not really. Uh, we, uh, you know, uh, maybe in six months it'll be nice to go to one, but... Not necessary right now. Uncle Bruce, there are some 250 calls on ATIP for December 22, and they are 165. Stocks at 342, almost a dollar in the money, paying around 70 cents for a year of time. Good call. Yeah, December 22. Yeah, yeah, that would be okay. Yeah, jump around, jump around, and get down. I have trouble remembering to charge, change, charge my phone. I can't wait for the car. Client of mine that works for pg e says the Tesla home charger uses enough juice in an hour to charge the car. It could support the electric needs of the whole house for a full day. Well, if we had a 240, a 240 uh, outlet or 220 outlet, we'd get 35 miles an hour of range for every hour we're plugged in. So you plug in at 10 at night and by 5 in the morning, you, you're ready to go. 
We have a minute to go. I'm waiting for Larry to uh, tell us uh, that we're done for the day. Uh, 246 on GameStop, up 1737. A friend of mine took his e car from LA airport to somewhere in Colorado. It was horrendous, including his hotel having a T and a standard charger, and the T owner was hogging the standard one. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I came in to get. I came to get down. I came to get down. So get out your seat and jump around. Okay, thanks, Andy. Um, two forty six sixty nine on on GameStop. Rocket Lab fifteen ninety one. SoFi eighteen seventy four. Matterport twenty six oh four. Uh, okay. Um, let's go, Uncle Bruce. I can't believe it just rolled at GameStop. December third strike two fifteen into a February twenty two two sixty strike with a profit of eleven hundred. Dollars. You just popped in eleven hundred into your account. There you go, and you moved it up. Nicely done. Shorting still allowed, just only on the uptick. SoFi is oversold by thirty dollars by end of the year. Uh, bye. Love you all. God bless you all. Okay, Larry. The bells are ringing, and that means we're done. I charge my Tesla in my garage. The homeowner association pays electric on my garage. I love it. Uh, slow hands, baby. Uh, Mister. Hey, Uncle Breeze. Better roll on a down day or up. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Uh, thank you, Larry, for that. We have got uh, through here. We're gotten through the other side. Uh, we're done for the day here, and we're closing it out. Uh, looks like GameStop is shutting down at about two hundred and forty-seven fifty. Last trade up eighteen seventy, and the volume on GameStop to close out the day four point two five million, and then we got the aftermarket at two forty seven forty down a dime at the moment. Um, that's what I'm looking at. The Dow hung on to a seventeen point gain after being up over three hundred. Uh, S and P lost fifteen points. It was up over thirty today. Nasdaq down 202. It was up over 100 at one point today. So we've had a bad last hour in the market. Uh, something triggered the market to want to back off rather quickly. And uh, uh, stocks are mostly lower today when it's all said and done. Now, we've been lower on our stocks all day except for Rocket Lab and GameStop. Everything else was down today. It'll be interesting to see how things start in the morning. If the Dow is going to continue to dip and, and, and S&P and NASDAQ are leading the way, what kind of down dip do we have tomorrow? Do we lose a half a percentage point? I mean, the NASDAQ lost one and a quarter percent today of its value. Um, the S&P down 0.3%. Uh, percent. So um, will the Dow lose a one and a half percent tomorrow? Uh, that would be a drop of 500 points, um, just to kind of put it in perspective. What will that have? What kind of an impact will that have on GameStop? Uh, if the market around GameStop is, is slumping, uh, will GameStop drop 15, 20 bucks a share tomorrow to uh, two, uh, 230, 233? Uh, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. 246.83 right now in the aftermarket, um, down. Um, 67 cents nothing much yet okay there's there it is that's the day um what tesla have i got i'm renting a tesla from a gentleman in la uh it's a model three uh but it's just the standard range one motor rear wheel drive a gr quick great quiet nice but i would prefer the long range dual motor i prefer that one with four wheel drive being in canada I'd rather have that. Uh, but the car I really want is the Model S long range. Dual motor, four-wheel drive sedan, the big sedan. That That's what I would really rather have. But this one is uh, fine. Break on through to the other side. Um, let's see. Uh, I just test drove a Model 3 dual motor, says DQ. And Larry, uh, jump, jump, jump. Uh, holy heck, what a down day. I love my dual motor. Uh, highly recommend it, says Adam. Uh, what a weird day, says uh, 45 increase in strike. Not sure I believe that. Isn't that something? Auntie, get a tiger. I want to see Larry sing some karaoke, karaoke and meet and greet. <laughs> um, and uh, wouldn't this be Black Friday profit-taking week? Um, Adam says you can't go wrong. Picked up 30 calls today for SoFi, um, Feb 22, $17.5 uh, contracts. Um, average at three forty-five. Come on, Bank Charter and Super Bowl. There you go. Um, yep, twenty-one or more. You're laughing. Uh, SoFi eighteen seventy-five. Um, the low of the day on SoFi 
was 1832, uh, just before noon hour. Um, it did get back up to about 1908, 1910, but it came back to 1875. It's right now 1881, up six cents in the after hours. Wait, time sucks. Uh, BBB, why may squeeze two, typically moves with GameStop. Uh, Joe, higher yields, tech stock capped, uh, crapped out last hour. Uh, pick home, uh, writing um, out of the money calls with mid December kill time this morning seems like it was a good idea today. Do you think it's a good time to add to my Matterport position? Um, well, uh, again, uh, you know, 2605, uh, the stock was 21 last week, 3080 at one point last week. What a range. Now we're kind of near the middle. Uh, let's see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, the feeling I've got is that is the only stocks we've got that aren't oversold are like Six Terra, Matterport, Rocket Lab, and maybe SmartRent. Uh, Bertie, I ordered my Y dual motor long range 57K. Right on, Bertie. Right on, buddy. Um, Brandon, Uncle Bruce, when you get your Model S, make sure you get a vanity plate in honor of Yoko and GameStop. Uh, I don't think you have enough. Uh, Yo uh, Johan, uh, take care. See you all in the morning. Thank you, Johan. Pick knows I mean to into an out of the money. Yeah, don't I don't I know what he's mean. Uh, gotta have more, says Mr. Seneca. Bloody stay in the market for me. It's still up, but man, that wasn't fun today. Well, you know, it's how the market goes. Sometimes they uh, they goes up, sometimes it goes down. Um, aftermarket trades on uh, Rocket Lab, we closed at fifteen ninety one. We're at fifteen eighty six down in nickel. Uh, SoFi eighteen seventy five last trade, no change in the aftermarket. GameStop, 246.87, down 63 cents in the aftermarket. Matterport, uh, we're down 11 cents, 25.94 in the aftermarket. ME, in 919, up 20 cents in the aftermarket. 919, 20 cent gain in the aftermarket for ME. Spire, uh, no trading at all in the aftermarket. ATIP, up a penny at 342 aftermarket. Smart Rent, uh, 382, down a nickel in the aftermarket. Uh, Sextera unchanged in the aftermarket, 359. AMC now down six cents in the aftermarket at this point. There, there it is. The Dow gained 17, a uh, big drop off. Uh, the, the Microsoft stock lost 328 on the day uh, in the aftermarket is up 16 cents. Apple um, at one point today got as high as 165.70 closed at 161.02 now 161 down uh, two cents so apple backed off today um tesla had a good day going for the most part uh it got up to uh, 1201 today but it closed 1156 it's now 1157 it was up 19 bucks on the day it's up about a dollar now bed bath beyond uh, up 76 cents on the day but 14 cents drop in the aftermarket Royal Caribbean, 79.22 was the final trade on the market, down $1.25. Rocket Lab, 79.27, up a nickel now in the aftermarket. And then over at Goldman Sachs, um, 3.96 was the last trade. 3.96.18, up 8.79. Uh, 3.96.15, down three cents right now. But Goldman today was as high as 4.02.48. So it, it gave up. Uh, six dollars and thirty cents in the last hour and a half uh, hour, so it backed off substantially uh, to uh, three ninety six. Anyway, there there you are. That's that's what's going on there. Amazon lost one hundred four bucks. Facebook lost four. Alphabet lost fifty seven. Target down six. Other losers. Nvidia down ten. Twitter down a dollar. Uh, Netflix down nineteen. Workday down eleven. DoorDash 13, Airbnb down 14. Uh, yeah, um, what can I say? That's the that's the dealio there. Um, Boeing lost 422 today to 209.91, so it's it's given up some ground. Uh, there you go. There's there's some of the the highlights of the day here as we are we got through the day today and Monday. Uh, here we've done it. Um, what can I say? Uh, Midnight Venture, Bruce, all my stocks are down right now and I have no money left to deposit. I have a couple of hundred shares of AME. Should I try to write a, a try and write a covered call or should I just wait a bit? I just wait a bit. Just sit around and wait. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Um, and uh, let's go. Uh, check out the uh, Y dual motor. The uh, Y dual motor. Um, yeah, that's the uh, the uh, the hatchback. The uh, <clears throat> 
the, the sport utility vehicle. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Monday. Bruce, see you tomorrow. Everybody, Bobby, you take care, buddy. Let's go. Brandon says, Carter, go. Great day for MU breakout looks imminent. Thank you, Midnight Adventure. Well, there it is, kids. Uh, my day is done, at least on this channel. I got to get ready now to set up my two shows on Traveling with Bruce. Uh, going to be on at 7 o'clock for members, 8 o'clock for the wide open market. Anybody wants to come on in, anybody in the world can join at 8 o'clock on Traveling with Bruce if you like. We'll talk travel today. Uh, let's see what's going on. If you can swing the Tesla plaid, that's the one you want. Yeah, that's uh, that's not, uh, not going to happen. But uh, the long range model uh, S would be the one I'd like to get. Good night, fellow simpletons. Laughing out loud drops on my way. Catch you later, Bruce. Thank you, Sharon. I'll see you later. Bruce, I'm definitely starting to learn to love these down days um, for getting deals and averaging down. Thank you for the knowledge. You got it, Mr. Seneca. Thanks, Uncle B. Have a great evening. Have a good one, everybody, says Larry. Nelson, good night, Bagel Gang. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Thanks for the thumbs ups today on both shows. This one, 267 thumbs ups so far. And hopefully on the rerun, we can get some more. Thank you, everybody, for helping out the channel. Appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you folks uh, in uh, Ontario on the 11th of December. If you're going to come and join us for our meet and greet, that would be great. We'll hope for that. Uh, thank you, Scott Coleman, for your donation. It's so appreciated. And also our friend, uh, our friend whose name I will, Fenneville. Thank you, Fenneville, for the donation towards that meet and greet. That's going to be great. It just made that meet and greet even, even better. <laughs> How can you not come to this now? Oh, man, that's fantastic. Uh, you got to love that. Thank you all so much for uh, for your kind words, support, and uh, and uh, being members, subscribers, and viewers. Uh, 283 thumbs ups and counting. Thank you guys for 283 and counting. They're coming in. I do appreciate it very, very much. Abram says, by Aurora, busy day. I rolled over my GameStop call and a couple of Matterport calls. Catch you all later. Nice says, by, well, portfolio's down 6%. Could be worse. Bought all my SoFi contracts back. European lockdown is weighing on the markets. So let's see what happens. Good evening, all from Joe. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Zach. Drops. See you all tomorrow. Uh, Michael, drive by. Thumbs up. Busy at work. Thanks, buddy. DQ, night, night. Uh, simpletons. All these simples. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow for another bloody bath, says Abraham and Michael. Uh, DQ will catch you later. Okay, guys, have a great one. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Um, take good care of each other. We'll see you at 8.30 first thing. Okay, guys, bye for now.